What were your thoughts when 50 Cent blamed the second season ratings dip on gay stuff? First of all, you know, uh, the pot calling the kettle back. black is all I'm saying. So, I mean, are, but I mean, you're not insinuating that, that, that he's 50 gay? Cent is... Ew. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Absolutely, I just never forget there was a vibe cover with him and Soldier Boy that made me kind of go, hmm. <laughs> Y'all, not Vivica Fox trying to expose 50 Cent for being a DL brother. Everybody knows that 50 and Vivica hate each other's guts since they broke up more than 20 years ago. But the mess just blew up all over again. But Vivica's claims that 50 Cent is secretly gay. This is kind of shocking because 50 Cent is known for exposing DL rappers, mocking them and calling them zesty. However, according to Vivica, the reason 50 has been going on and on about it and why gay people live rent free in his head is because he's secretly one of them and she claims to have some receipts well 50 cent of course is not here for any of this and he went off on vivica shaming her for trying to out him y'all need to get in the room on this drama because these two are serving up some fresh bros a messy tea but he a swish that's why he's always able to call other on being a swish. Birds of a feather flock together. That's true. Game recognize game. There's no way in the world that saying. man understands that much about homosexual dealings in the industry is constantly calling people out and he ain't he ain't seen none of it personally. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on between 50 Cent and his ex Vivica Fox, but these two are back at it again, dragging each other for filth and being messy. I mean, it has been 21 years since their relationship ended, but these two still hate each other as if they just broke up last week on real bad terms. It probably has something to do with the fact that 50 Cent pulled a jerk move and publicly broke up with her on a radio show only eight months after they started dating. You mean they only did it for eight months and 21 years later she's still tripping? But y'all know what they say, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. The two began dating in 2003, surprising everybody who knew them. They were complete opposites, but as the saying goes, opposites attract. And the first hint of their budding relationship came at the BET Awards when 50 Cent made a comment about Vivica's dress during his speech. You know, I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress too. Y'all, she was cheesing extra hard, trying to get her a young tender. Well, some people say that was the moment she fell for him, and honestly, it's not hard to believe that because, like I said, she was swooned. Now, one thing led to another, and before we knew it, they started dating. They made their public debut at the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards, hitting the red carpet holding hands. Talk about a very hard launch, but the fans had been speculating and this proved them right. Their relationship was the hottest topic and so were their careers. It was a crazy time back in the early 2000s and 50 Cent was one of the hottest rappers on the block because he had recently released his album Get Rich or Die Trying, which sold a crazy 12 million copies worldwide. Meanwhile, Vivica Fox was killing it on her acting career, starring in major movies like Independence Day, Set It Off, Soul Food, Two Can Play That Game and kill bill so back in the day these two were one of the power couples in the industry for their little eight months so obviously they were in the public eye all the time but vivica didn't mind because she was already head over heels for 50 cent let her tell it especially because he was treating her like a queen at the time flooded filled my entire house with my favorite flowers, which were Casablancas and Gardenias. He's very romantic yeah. and he's got, he's like a big teddy bear. Yeah. And see, I know that side of him and he's yeah. very sweet and very kind and gives the best hug. 50 Cent seemed to be in love with Vivica too. He was even planning to propose to her, allegedly. Was he in love with you? Very much. I mean, I think that the reason why it's haunted me for such a long time is here, I found out later that he wanted to propose to me. So that's why. Right. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, what was supposed to be a 12 carat engagement ring turned into a pair of earrings. And all because Vivica made 50 angry and he changed his mind about the proposal. Is it true that you turned the 12 carat ring into a pair of earrings? Yeah. <laughs> And after that, their relationship crumbled as quickly as it started with many factors playing into it. The lack of privacy and going public too soon were some major red flag issues because like I said, they were everywhere and everybody had their noses in 50 and Vivica's business. 
The age gap was a problem too. She was 38 and he was 27. To let Vivica tell it, that showed in his immaturity. But if you think that 50 sometimes acts immature now and he's a whole 48, can you imagine how immature he was at 27? Well, 50 was even talking to everybody about their love life and everything that they were doing, which definitely bothered Vivica because who wants to have their intimate moments broadcast in front of the world? Definitely not Vivica. Man, I'm, my love life is great. It's yeah. like the first time though when Vivica gives you the go ahead and says she's gonna get naked in your bed. Is it awesome? Yeah, man, it's exciting. Are you able to hold out a long time? No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> is she loud in bed? Like, does she so make a lot of noise? <laughs> does she make a lot of noise? But it looked like 50 Cent felt like he was losing his tough guy image, which led him to break up with Vivica. However, he didn't do it face to face. Instead, Vivica found out she had been dumped through a radio show. And I guess he went on his European tour. Yes. Uh, and at that point, I guess the relationship started to kind of devolve. I no, guess would, the no? relationship broke up after the World Music Awards. I came oh. back and he was on the radio saying he dumped me. You find out on the radio? Yeah, my friend uh, called me. I was in Baltimore filming The Salon. And my friend, uh, a stylist whose name is skipping me right now. Oh, my friend Daryl Brown called me and said, yo, your boy's on the radio blasting you. At first I went, who? And he was like, 50 Cent. I was like, Curtis? He was like, yeah, I was telling everybody you guys broke up. And I was like, we did? Huh? So he never personally said, it's a rap. On the radio, huh? Uh, yeah, but he went on, and you know, that was his way. That was his way when, when I look back at it now, uh, you know, he's, he went back to being that tough guy because, you know, we really loved each other a lot at the time. 50 Cent embarrassed Vivica in front of the whole world by telling everybody he didn't even officially break up with her. He just stopped calling, he ghosted her. But if that wasn't bad enough, he went on and on about how she was only using him for publicity, which is wild because we saw him make the first move on her. She dumped you or you dumped her? Be honest. Okay, I ain't calling no more. Oh, she really? Has to stop calling. Really? Well, what happened? She told you to stop calling? Nah, I just, I stopped calling. I, I feel like um, her people were taking advantage of the situation as far as her publicist. Uh, they were using you for publicity. Uh, Good for you. Nah, they couldn't have been using me for publicity because then, you know. In a the, way, you're the hottest thing out there. Yeah, but in the, um, then it would be, we wouldn't have been together intimately. But Wait a why second. did you think her people were, what, did, what were her people doing? But at the end of the day, they just couldn't handle all the publicity and the intention that their relationship was getting. The, the main thing that what killed the relationship was that we just went way too public, way too fast. Um, like a huge learning lesson for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was the first time that I went public with the relationship that I should have maybe taken the time to get to know him. With 50 uh, Cent? Yes. However, she was not here for him trying to score cheap points by claiming that she was using him for publicity. Vivica couldn't stay quiet about what 50 had said, so she wanted to let the world know she wasn't using him for publicity. Anyway, the relationship uh, didn't work out, but the press lasted a lot longer than the relationship did. So, I mean, it why do you think the press does that? Why do they like vilify the woman? Because when I read that stuff, I was like, it's, it's so ridiculous. No, it wasn't the press, it was him. Oh, yeah, it was it. Him. he was like, she's exploiting me. She's uh, she's trying to use me for, you know, to, to get publicity and which was so not true. I was about yeah. to be in a film with, you know, yeah, Oscar winning, famous. winning actors that. and I've been acting for years. But, you know, I just considered that ghetto love. That was his way of dealing <laughs> with the ghetto love. <laughs> but even though 50 was the one who broke up with Vivica, he was still being extra petty after. He'd even dissed her in some of his songs, like in his song, Get In My Car, where he said, my game F with the Bieber until she thinks she wifey. Spend her life savings in the day cause she likes me. Commitment from me, uh, nah, not likely. Went out Vivica, I thought I was on to something. But then the next week, nah, man, it was nothing. He made it seem like he wasn't even committed to Vivica the whole time, making her look bad in front of the whole world. And Vivica was hurt by the song. She described it as heartbreaking and humiliating. Trust for me how I felt driving down the street and it would come on the radio. That song. 
Yeah. Yeah. Or the game rapping about me. Yeah. And he was his artist at the time. Mm -hmm. That was awful to live through. Yeah. It broke my heart, but I still loved him. But a couple months later, he reached out to her to try to fix things, claiming that he had turned a new leap and blah, blah, blah. He even asked her to be in his music video and let bygones be bygones so that they can move forward. How did you guys make up? Who called who? I called her. You did? Yeah. That's so sweet. What did you say when you called I her? I said, you gotta stop fighting me and get my video. <laughs> <laughs> and she said? She was surprised that I actually reached out. Yeah? Yeah. And yeah. you're friends now? Yeah. Would you ever date her again? Well, the song's about when relationships don't work. And when I explained it to her, you know, it kind of intensified what the song was about with me and being an individual in the public sees us as that relationship that didn't work. Meaning you're not gonna date anymore? Uh, not anymore, no. <laughs> but when it comes to 50, you'll know that he can never stay out of trouble, and he's King Petty. He is a professional troll who comes for people and mocks them on social media like it's a full-time job, but he and Vivica were supposed to be on good terms for a hot minute after his apology. But to nobody's surprise, 50 Cent, of course, ruined it. It started when he made a comment about the hit show Empire, which Vivica was starring in at the time. The show started with a bang, but started to decline towards the end of the show, and in an interview, 50 Cent was asked why he thought the show was declining, and he claimed that it was because there was too much gay stuff happening in the show and that had turned viewers off he said there are three million less viewers who tuned into last night's empire episode did you watch it we could not take the extra gay stuff or celebrity stuff last night of course he got dragged for filth over this but he defended himself saying it must be a slow news week they're gonna say 50 cent empire lost three million viewers because of too much gay ish he only said, Cookie, call me, but the kid is going to F up the show? Now everyone is waiting for power. I told him to lay low. Well, Vivica was not about to let that slide, so she clapped back at him, exposing his own secret and hinting that he had a little something going on with Soldier Boy behind the scenes. What were your thoughts when 50 Cent blamed the second season ratings dip on gay stuff? First of all, you know, uh, the pot calling the kettle black, black is all I'm saying. Ooh. The pot calling the kettle black? Huh. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all, she revealed that the reason that he reacted so strongly was that he was protecting her friends who worked on Empire and who were being disrespected by 50. In an interview with People Magazine, she said, I voiced my opinion, but I'm the kind of person where if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. I was just really, really sick and tired of hearing the BS about Empire, especially about the gay storyline. And I'm not gonna take it back because Lee Daniels, Taraji, and Terrence Howard are very good friends of mine and they are my co-stars and I'm a stand-up kind of babe so I stood up for them and I don't regret it whatsoever. Well her words put 50 and Soulja Boy on defense and they went on and on talking about how she was chasing clout. Soulja wrote, everyone hit up this cougar, she's single and ready to mingle. 1800 granny desperate for attention extension, hashtag I'm washed up. Well, 50 Cent also reposted Soldier's post and claimed that the reason Vivica thinks he's gay is that he let her lick his behind when they were dating. He wrote, oh no, now she thinks I'm gay because I let her lick my ass. Wait, I didn't want her to, she forced me and my hands were tied. 50 Shades of Grey. Well, Vivica continued the fight posting a never before seen of 50 wearing makeup with the caption, Tell you what, 50 cents since you keep on telling that lie, I challenge you to let's both go on Bravo's watch what happens live and we could put this to rest. That never happened and you know it, queen. Y'all talk about some messy tea. Well, apparently Soulja Boy ended up catching strays from Vivica, but it was not the first time that people had speculated that Soulja was getting clapped by 50 cents. Allegedly, Soulja was getting dragged for filth and Vivica came up to defend him, even though he had insulted her and called her washed up. She tweeted, let me say this, wasn't speaking about Soulja Boy, only my ex and his antics. I apologize for that to Soulja Boy. But like I said, the rumors of 50 Cent and Soldier had been around for much longer than that. These two men have been fighting rumors for a while. 
The buzz started in 2010 when they appeared on the cover of XXL magazine, and people couldn't stop talking about how zesty and fun they looked. I'm not sure what the inspiration behind the photo shoot was, but it definitely gave off some dom and sub vibes if you know you know. You know, top and bottom. You get the gist. But 50 Cent and Vivica's beef went on for almost two years still after that, and eventually they put everything aside and tried to squash it, even working together again for a while, until they started beefing again. It's like these two just couldn't stop with the beef. When 50 Cent found out Vivica wrote about her private life in her book, Every Day I'm Hustling, he wasn't happy. The New York Daily News published an article where Vivica mentioned cherishing their intimate moments, often initiating intimacy because she enjoyed being with him. It was funny to see 50 Cent so bothered by these headlines, despite having talked about their sex life himself. He was put off that Vivica was still discussing their relationship after all those years. Now the part where Vivica claimed that she had to initiate intimacy had the people talking, because at the time 50 Cent was a younger rapper in his 20s, and we all know what young rappers are like, supposedly. You know, cheating, knocking up multiple women, having baby mamas, and all types of SCX and that type of stuff. But he was with an attractive older woman, and wasn't interested in being intimate? It started some talk all over again and how he was probably on the DL, like many other rappers in the industry. Yeah, we know 50 Cent is one guy who typically goes over and above to slam gay people in the industry and talk about how he isn't with all that. So to think of him and the DL is a little bit interesting. But if there's one person in the industry obsessed with outing DL men as 50 Cent, everybody knows how he has repeatedly targeted Diddy, accusing him of being on the DL. 50 Cent has been taking shots at Diddy long before any lawsuits exposed Diddy. So it certainly wasn't out of concern for Diddy's victims. It was like gay people lived in 50's head rent free. But even illness wasn't enough to stop 50 because when he was in the hospital, he threw some shade that Diddy saying, sorry I can no longer help you guys, soon you will all be a gay and happy, you are now left under the leadership of Putty Daddy, report to the nearest rainbow. Now shaving somebody while you're literally in a hospital bed means that you are fully committed to your beef. And there's also the time he went on the breakfast club and said that Diddy was fruity. And he go, when they do it, when he do it, he says <laughs> things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. But now an interesting part about this is that 50 Cent once claimed in an interview that Diddy tried to take him shopping and he found that a little bit zesty. And he said something to me one time, a long time ago, a at Chris Lighty's wedding, he told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wedding. This was a little bit weird, but looking back, let's try to make it make sense. 50 Cent has been dissing and trolling Diddy since at least the late 90s, and everybody knows 50 does not like Diddy. So why would Diddy try to put moves on 50 Cent if he thought 50 was straight? But the people are saying Diddy had heard rumors about 50 being on the DL, which might explain why he tried to put some moves on him in the first place. Well, sources are now claiming that 50 Cent and Soulja Boy might have had a little something something going on with Soulja Boy behind the scenes. And just when you thought that things couldn't get any messier, here comes Jaguar Ride dropping claims and truth bombs on 50 Cent and Soulja Boy. And let me tell y'all, it really isn't pretty, but let's be real here. Is anything that Jaguar says in the mix actually pretty? I mean, it's always a shocker. Well, the woman's practically got a PhD in Hollywood gossip, and while 50 Cent might strut around like he's untouchable, he's probably never seen Jaguar Wright coming for him. I mean, she spilled more tea than a clumsy waiter, and not just on Diddy or Jay-Z anymore. No, she's branching out now, and let me tell y'all, the dirt she's got on Soldier Boy and 50, mm, talk about Juicy. I just wanna say this about Soldier Boy. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta give him a little bit of latitude, cause the expose is yeah. a popping off. Again. You know, he been in the, the rap game since he was little, just like Wheezy. Yeah. And he, he, his booty been ran through quite a bit. Oh, no, she didn't hey. say that. Whoa. You I know, know that information. You don't remember when he was in New York and they caught him? Went from one thing to whoever another. Whoever his whoever his big daddy was threw him out into the hallway. He was walking around in the hallway holding his nuts. Yes. This couple has actually appeared on a magazine couple together, um, cover together. But he is swish. That's why he's always able to call other 
on being a swish. Birds of a feather flock together. That's true. Game how, recognized game. There's no true, way in the world that saying. man understands that much about homosexual dealings in the industry is constantly calling people out and he ain't he ain't seen none of it personally. But here's the shocker. 50 Cent isn't the only guy that Soldier Boy's been linked to. Remember a while back when Tasha K sat down with this internet personality named William the Baddest? Well, it turns out he spilled some tea on getting cozy with Soldier Boy too. It was to me. I loved it. I loved it. I had some lube. It was lube. It was everything. And it was perfect. And he was like, take this, you white, you white. Like he could, like he's very like into like the race play stuff. And then, but, but here's the thing. I don't know if this was really him or it was like drunk him or like, yo, I'm nervous. I'm like, is he gonna hurt me? Is he making music? Oh, I was so nervous. I go up the stairs and I'm just heart beating, you know what I mean? He was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, um, hey, what's up? He was like, you get down? And I was like, oh, am I gay? Yeah. I'm gay as fuck. I get in there and at that moment I have to go, I go from professional, like a fan to like, you're about to have to with him, right? And so he pulls his right? And that thing was big, Tasha. Most like, skinny men got big. No, that thing was big, Tasha. But most like, skinny men got big. I'm gonna be big. honest, that thing was like fat and it goes, here's the thing that makes it different. It goes to the left. Okay. Like Tasha, it's long and it goes to the left. Oh, okay, so that curve. Yeah, to the left. To the left, to the left, everything. But I'm, I gotta be serious. Look, he was like, Beyonce, <laughs> the inner Beyonce about to come out. It was, but. Go ahead, go but ahead, Tasha, yes. like, I did it, I, like, yo, I was like shaking, like, if I do this, is he gonna hurt me? Yeah. Cause in my community, you could be with a rapper or a straight guy like that or a hood ass crip or blood, right? I've been there and done that. When, whenever they, they come to their sense, like, hold the fuck, what the fuck? Like, that's what happens. And you could lose your life like that. That's why a lot of transgender women die. Yeah, William was not shy. He laid it all bare, giving us the step-by-step -step breakdown of what happened between him and Soldier Boy in the bedroom. He even described what Soldier Boy's, you know what, looked like. About to have with him, right? And so he pulls out, right? And that thing was big, Tasha. Most like, skinny men got big. No, that thing was big, Tasha. But most like, skinny men got I'm gonna be honest, that thing was like fat and it goes, Here's the thing that makes it different. It goes to the left. Okay. Like Tasha, it's long and it goes to the left. Oh, okay. But it's crazy that it's not all that surprising to see rappers out here throwing shade at each other for being gay, only to find out that they've got their own skeletons in their closets. It's like T's been brewing in their kitchen all along. What's T, soldier boy? Well, he definitely tried to clap back and he went on this whole tirade to shut down William's story. This gonna make me not wanna take pictures with fans no more. So you tell me if I'm outside in the club or I'm at a concert, anywhere and a fan walk up to me and take a picture and after they leave they go and make up a story like what you gonna make up a lie on somebody a cloud like this and, and, and what clicks views like not cool and i'm defending it with a pink shirt on god damn <laughs> Now this is the picture that he was referring to from 2016 and even though William claimed that it was proof of their affair, Soldier Boy was denying it. He went live on TikTok again to deny the affair. Uh -oh. yeah, thing. I'm doing the research and putting it all together right now. The fans believe that shit. They, they know it's all BS. Nah, the fans, the fans don't believe it at all, but we just gotta, you know, stand on business and let them know that we not playing. Tell, tell us he gets, she getting sued, right? Yeah, she said the sis ain't getting sued, all of them. Okay. You getting sued, ma'am. <laughs> Shit, y'all got me. Uh-uh, not Draco. I need another mansion. You getting sued. That was my lawyer. Hell nah, you definitely getting sued. You both of y'all, everybody getting sued. Y'all got me up. And, and anybody that posted, y'all getting sued too. Everybody getting sued! Yo, it's just a hot mess and 50 Cent is not happy about it. In the past couple of months, he has been seen with two of his exes to come out to slam him. First his ex and his baby mama, Daphne Joy, came out to expose him for being violent with her and putting hands on her. And now Vivica is exposing him for being on the DL. It's almost like 50 is not exactly the guy that he wants us to believe he is. And y'all know the fans have been talking about it. They've been saying stuff like, everybody laugh at how 50 Cent troll, he gives me gay girly vibes, ew. Vivica Fox may have been right. 50 Cent and Soldier Boy may have been gay. It's just giving me DL vibes. And 
50 Cent obsessed at this point. Ironically, he always the one making gay jokes though. DL brother vibes for show. But y'all, this situation is absolutely crazy. But I gotta know what y'all think about it. Do you think that 50 Cent needs to come on about that closet and tell his truth? Or do you think that this is all some smear with no proof? Drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.